Dear friends, welcome back to my channel Alpha Physio Pelvic Care, all things pelvic health and beyond. My name is Anastasia Ovarova. I'm a pelvic floor physiotherapist. I practice here in sunny Cyprus. I see both male and female, and I also practice online. And today it's gonna be quick. We're going to talk about three main rules on starting sex again after birth. If you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think. Rule number one, lubrication. Rule number two, the position. Rule number three, well, you will find out if you watch this video until the end, but let's start from the beginning. Rule number one, we choose position when starting sex again after birth of least resistance for the pelvic floor. We don't want to stretch it out. We don't want it to put it on tension whilst having intercourse, especially if you gave birth and you had tears or cuts and now the stitches are healed. These positions are usually are the common missionary position with the pillow under your bum. I have a separate videos on those positions. Check out sex position after birth. It can be positioned on the side again when your legs are quite closed and they don't need to be wide open so there is no unnecessary stretching of the perineal area during penetration. It can also be positioned woman on top if you do need to have a little bit more control but please take into consideration that this position might hurt if you had stitches. It only might. It might feel uncomfortable but since you do have control you can always swap and try something else. Position I would not recommend immediately if you do experience some discomfort is doggy style because all the stretch that happens around pelvic floor or anything where your legs are really wide open or one leg is out to the side and open again because on of the stretch uh, on that pelvic area that might feel quite sore and tender. This said, of course, you can try it all, see with your partner, communicate with your partner, talk with your partner, see what feels better, what maybe feels a little bit sore. And please remember, when initiating sex again after birth, it might feel sore. Sometimes I have to be honest and tell we have sex for the sake of just trying and having sex first, second, third time after giving birth. And then things get better. Of course, if they don't, well, we'll talk about it in a bit. Rule number two, lubrication, guys, lubricant. And I can't stress it enough. And every other woman who comes to me and I ask her if she used lubricant during intercourse after she gave birth, she says no. After you give birth, your hormones naturally dry out the vaginal tissues. Or you will just not be as wet. Even if you feel um, ready for the intercourse, especially if you breastfed, if you breastfeeding, or even if you never breastfed, that drop, rapid drop of estrogen after birth will create dryness. And I suppose it's nature's natural way to protect us from having intercourse, so we don't conceive again, but we will sneak around the nature. To apply lubricant. First of all, you don't want a tiny drop, a tiny bit of lubricant, and then just rub it around of the entry of the vagina and that's it. No, you need plenty of it. And when I say plenty, I mean plenty. There are two ways how you can apply or you combine the both. You need lubrication throughout the vaginal canal. So one way you can do it is grab a syringe, get some lubricant through the syringe and literally insert it inside the vagina. Or you can get a lubricant and put it on your partner's penis as much as possible and then you put as much as you can on the outside and slightly inside and as he enters he will kind of naturally lubricate through the movement the area see what works for you i would suggest a plain water-based lubricant no fancy uh, cherry or things like that these you can keep them for later or for other kind of uh, play in the beginning, I would suggest something very basic, preferably organic, with minimal additives, water-based, easy to remove, and no irritation. Number three, something that you've been waiting for. Make sure you have your gynecological checkup, which most of you do, 
and make sure you visit pelvic floor physiotherapist. I cannot emphasize it enough. Pelvic floor physiotherapist can check your scars, can show you how to work with them to reduce the pain and desensitize the scars. They can check your organ position and see if maybe you have a prolapse that can, can create pain during intercourse and suggest how to manage these kind of symptoms. They will check your pelvic floor muscles and teach you proper pelvic floor contraction, relaxation, engagement, and generally exercises and movements you need to do in order to get your pelvic floor back in shape. I would highly recommend just one appointment, even if there is nothing, you feel there is wrong, you feel good, you feel great, you're ready, just one single appointment, check, receive all your necessary advice and you're done. This is it guys. I hope these tips will be practical and will be useful for you. Thank you for your likes. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you back very, very soon. Bye.